It's 5.30 a.m. It's still dark out. I thought that the sun would be rising a little bit sooner, but it says it's 7.09 is the sunrise, so maybe another 45 minutes till we actually get a little tint of blue to the sky. However, we're leaving the little house of horrors and getting on the road. We didn't get great sleep, lots of noises, lots of random shit, but it should make up for today. I think it's gonna be fun today for sure. Well, it took us a minute to find a fuel station, but we eventually got one. And now we're gonna head on this road. It's about 277 miles, and we're just not sure if we're gonna find fuel again. If we don't, we're gonna be running on fumes. But we should get there. Well, it was a cold ride out of Durango this morning at a balmy 40 degrees. <laughs> Considering yesterday we were sweating our asses off at 90 degrees, but we climbed up. It seems like there was a bit of inversion. We've gained about 8 degrees already, but look at this view. It doesn't even look real. We are about five hours into this since we left this morning. It's just after 11 o'clock now. We've put on about 150 miles and we think there's maybe around 80 left to go before we get to the highway. And then from there, we'll start heading further south. We had a little bit of an interesting experience earlier this morning. Things got a little real for us. Uh, we had stopped. This scenery out here is spectacular. It's hard not to continue to stop and take photos and just take it all in. It's by far the most spectacular scenery I've personally seen. So we crossed over this bridge and there was this river, cliffs, rocks. It was awesome. And we were like, oh my God, let's pull over and get a photo. So right after the bridge, we pulled over. And mind you, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. There's no traffic. We've been sitting on the side of the road eating lunch and i think in the last hour we've seen one scooter so we stopped and this really nice pickup rolled up onto the bridge and you have to remember everything out here is complete junk and this was a new pickup rolled onto the bridge and stopped and callie we are still on the bikes helmets are on she said hey should i be concerned that this person stopped I said, no, I don't think so. And they're probably 30 or 40 feet behind us on the bridge. 
but we're just kind of sitting there seeing what they're doing and the doors open up and a couple guys get out and turns out that they have some semi-automatic rifles with them. Callie's like, they have guns. And I can see them in my mirror. And I'm like, oh, f- yeah, they have guns. Let's go. So we hightailed out of there. We don't know what they wanted. I honestly don't even know if they wanted to have anything to do with us. They weren't walking towards us. They were just kind of walking into the front of their pickup and having a powwow. I don't know. But we got out of there and didn't find out what was going on. So now we're here. Kind of a mood ruiner, though. Callie's mood is a little bit dampened. It's not all lollipops, rainbows, and butterflies, and unicorns. There are some hombres with guns out here, too. So we're going to make it to the main highway and then try to figure out where to go from there as far as staying on a big, fast highway or getting off onto more of these two-lane roads. We will keep you updated. In the meantime, though, this road the scenery... The road, it's all awesome. I bet you a hundred bucks we're sleeping here tonight. As long as you can get through that gate. Sometimes it can be pretty difficult to figure out what's going on with hotels around here. So we drove in and everything kind of looked closed. Definitely unsure of anything. And Callie was able to buzz this lady over here to come out. And I guess that they are open and they have rooms for $54 which is a little bit more than we want to spend. However, the sun's going to be setting and it's pretty nice back here compared to being in a city or in a town. So she's going to look at it. We'll see how this goes, but it's nice because we can ride our motorcycles through the gate and keep them back there, which is great. We've got the ocean. This is home for the night. I think it's going to be perfect room with a view. We got a great night's sleep last night, in bed by eight o'clock, fast asleep, and didn't get up till about five this morning, which was super nice. Now the sun has come up behind us and we're going to make our way down the coast today. That's the goal at least. We want to get south of Puerto Vallarta. The last couple days have been slow going in the mountains. Very beautiful, just extremely slow. So we're gonna stay on these two lane roads going down the coast. Hopefully we can make some time with those, but if not, we can always jump over onto the main highways, go through places like Guadalajara City and Mexico City, but we'd like to avoid that for now. These may be a little bit more scenic. So we'll see how today goes.
have been driving, we're supposed to be on that side of the road going that way. We have been driving around this goddamn town for 20 minutes because the GPS, so you can see we're on a side road here and then we have that road going the same direction. And the other side is the same. We were in that lane, but the GPS had us get off and get into this lane. Well, it's going like this, it's not moving. So we tried to get back on and we couldn't. We ended up mistakenly getting over all of the lanes of traffic driving through neighborhoods and we're just trying to get back onto that side going the other way and it's damn near impossible all of these side streets have lines of traffic trying to do the same i mean at this point we're going to spend possibly eternity in this town we're outside of puerto Vallarta, and it's getting busy So as you can see from the previous footage, we just went through Puerto Vallarta and it was insane traffic, super busy. We went like 40 miles in two hours, but we're out of it now. So we're heading south. We just had a quick stop for a Coke and we got some diaper cream because our asses are pretty raw. So hopefully it helps. We are about 160 miles south of Puerto Vallarta and we've been looking on the GPS. We're gonna try to go another 100 miles south and get a hotel somewhere down there along the coast. It says it's gonna take two and a half hours, but surprisingly, we've been making up really great time. The last couple hours have been on a pretty straight highway. We've been doing 70, 60 to 70 for the most part. So if that continues, I think we can get there within two and a half hours for sure. Most of the time, we're adding time because it's so curvy. Um, we're not getting there in the amount of time it says, or we're getting in traffic, specifically behind semis, and that adds a ton of time. It's still hot though. There's a theme where we're going. You're gonna get tired of hearing it. Like these guys, what, they think it was gonna be winter where they were going? Were they not prepared? I wasn't prepared for this much heat and humidity. Oh, we saw a dead monkey on the road. And we saw a dead monkey on the road. That was crazy. And some signs for what Big looks signs. like jaguars or mountain lions or something. Like what you'd see for deer or elk crossing in Colorado. They have them for giant leopards or something. I want to see one. I haven't seen one. Only signs for them crossing the road. All right, let's go. Callie's ready to go. She's hot and will be hangry in no time. Looks like we have our hotel for this evening. However, we haven't eaten yet. So we're gonna go back into town, which is maybe a half mile away and see what we can find for food. Then we'll be back to this. They have a pool out there too, which I think we'll be taking advantage of. Guess what we're having for dinner? You probably only need one guess. It's not hamburgers or pizza. Last night's accommodations weren't bad. It wasn't the nicest, but definitely not bad. I mean, Callie and I have stayed in worse in the States, but this one is a little bit above and beyond. Well, this is great. Tyson's not telling you the whole story, actually. Do I know the whole story? 
Well, we were just going to be in a normal room next door, but the oh. AC wasn't working, so they put us in this bungalow. Oh, this is a bungalow. This is a bungalow. Um, but freaking very God. nice couple that owned this, and they were in this. They lived in the states for ten years. She's Mexican. He's from LA. But they're so nice. Super we're nice. We're speaking English with people for the first time in a long time. And on that note, again, <laughs> time to hop in the pool yeah. and then go to bed. <laughs>